on you guys uh, it's a new video I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today uh, I'm just gonna be bringing you guys a short video today it's gonna be basically me putting on the paint on the back of the bumper if you guys saw my last video you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about I'm talking about the, the little scuff marks I got on the back of my bumper from carrying all that metal in my previous videos so guys you guys are gonna see that I'm not probably not gonna show you the process because I've showed you the process on my door when I did it on my door but I'm just gonna do it get it done show you some before and after shots um, I might have to get the after shots tomorrow because the hour change really did mess up the time here like really bad now it gets dark super super early so um, I'm gonna get it done I'm gonna get the paint and everything done and installed today um the one thing I did want to tell you guys is that it said I appreciate all your guys' comments. I see every single comment that you guys post. Sometimes it doesn't notify me, and sometimes it does, but sometimes it's just, YouTube just is really bad with notifying me. But I do check it like periodically myself manually to like I refresh my activity feed and sometimes I even get on the videos just to make sure that there's no there's no comments that I'm missing to see. I love interacting with you guys. It's it's so much fun to talk to you guys, especially people that are from local to my area or even people that aren't local from my area I like talking to people there was this guy I was talking to in my comments uh, yesterday or the day before uh, he was from Puerto Rico I think guys so that's that's crazy anyways the thing I want to talk to you guys I'm probably gonna be bringing you guys maybe two videos within this week I know cuz I'm doing the reason I'm doing that guys is because I know I've been slacking with the videos for you guys but like I said life has just been kind of crazy and it's just been kind of all sporadic and wild but like I said, I'm not making any excuses. I'm probably going to bring you guys two videos this week. The second video probably won't come out till the weekend because that's when I'm going to record it and get it uploaded for you guys the day of. But for the most part, I'm going to get this uh, this video done today or yeah, today and then get the before shots. I mean the after shots tomorrow. But for the most part, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get the paint done. All right, guys. So I basically parked in two parking spots right now, but I mean, it's not going to be that for that long. I just wanted to talk to you guys um the other thing guys i want to talk to you guys about is like i said on the other video i'm gonna get you guys that other video probably out in the in the in the weekend because that's when i'm gonna record it and upload it for you guys obviously um let me know what you guys want to see coming up on the videos let me know what mods you guys want to see coming up next i have my eyes on a few mods right now that i'm thinking about but the thing is guys some of these mods are really really expensive and i can justify spending the money on it but I just can't justify spending the money, just dropping the money on it. So I'm trying to trying to find some good deals, seeing if I can link up with some people that I know around here, know around my town that can get me a good deal on what I'm looking for. Um, I'm looking for multiple things. Don't think I'm just looking for one certain product and trying to find it. No, like I'm trying to find out what's the best way to go throughout this this build because I do want to like also make the build last. I'm not trying to just get all my products, all my mods in one sitting and just get them all installed and then I'm not gonna have any videos for you guys like to upload so I'm trying to to prolongate the build somewhat but I'm not trying to extend it to ungodly like circumstances um, I'm gonna get you guys the mods regardless uploaded and shown for you guys probably even if I can uh, uh, install it myself I'll install it myself but like with everything else I do with things I can do myself I'll do it myself but I'll give you guys a mod update after I get the next few mods installed so you guys can know be all up to date with my truck I know there's a lot of new subscribers out there that don't know what's going on with my truck yet um, I just want you guys to know that there are mods coming there are mods coming I did not fall off the face of the earth I know I took maybe like two weeks off I'm sorry guys it's videos are still coming out guys and this week I'm bringing out two videos for you guys anyways I just wanted to talk to you guys about that tell you guys what the video about today is gonna be about about the paint for the back bumper if you guys don't know what I'm talking about let me just show you guys real quick. There. Alright, so now that I showed you guys where the paint was, um, I went to go pick up the paint. They're going to send it to the dealership in my hometown. Turns out that that was completely wrong. Turns out the guy that sold me the paint got the paint and he went on vacation so the paint was sitting in his office for about a week we called I called actually the manager and the manager told me that he you know what happened to the paint so he ordered me a brand new one it got there the next morning um, the guy came into work so they had two paints that were just sitting around that they didn't know what to do with the second one I still got my paint I got it regardless 
um, there was these like older older couple that were just staring at my truck hardcore and literally walked up to my truck to the window and put their face on the like glass to see it. I guess they thought it was, it was a for sale truck or so. I don't know. They were looking at my truck because I got down to go get the paint. I don't know what they were driving or what they were doing there, but they were looking at my truck really bad. Especially when I was driving off, the guy just couldn't get his eyes off my truck at all. Like he was just staring at it non-stop, like breaking necks. And I'm gonna show you guys see that. I'm gonna show you guys that footage right now. I didn't get the best footage. But I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. Those people right there. We're about to go already, guys. We picked up the paint. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys like saw that. I know I didn't get the best footage. It just kind of sucks. The, the I kind of recorded very late. I had to come in and get my camera. Anyways. I got stopped also on that on that uh, road trip going to go get that paint. Uh, it was just a bad day all around. I got stopped. Um, I got stopped one time by an undercover cop. I was just passing and passing people, and he stopped me. But he didn't really make mu that much of a big deal about it. He just said, asked me if my hometown, where my hometown was. I told him, and he just gave me back my license. Like no big deal. I'm gonna play that for you guys right now. What's going on, man? I'm not messing up. It's because I need, I need to get there by five. I know. Yeah. I know the traffic is bad. Yeah, it's really bad. Uh, it's not this one. I'm the intern. Yeah. Okay, man. Thank you. Yeah, guys, it was kind of weird, but like, I mean. I mean, I don't care as long as I got off without getting any warning, written warning, any citation tickets, whatever. Like, I, I got off with him just looking at my license and then just saying, all right, here, just drive slow, man. And I was like, all right, man, cool, fuck it. So then I, that happened. I was kind of happy. I was kind of like, you know what? I pretty much got lucky today already. I was driving with the sense that I was going to, that I had that luck. So then I was driving, speeding, according to the cop, and he gave me a citation for, I don't know how much exactly it was. But as soon as I pulled in and he came, walked up to my truck, I knew right away he was going to give me a citation. And he, like I said, he did give me a citation. He gave me one, but I got that already taken care of. But I'm going to show you that guys that footage right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about, about him being like kind of like a stuck up kind of dude. Like he just looked like he was kind of like having a bad day. Like he looked really mad. He complimented my truck, but I mean. You're going to be receiving a citation for the speeding. I know this okay. is a real, real nice pickup truck. You go fast, you don't even notice. Yeah, I know, man. But the deal is that you were coming a little bit too fast. Come on, man. Uh, complimenting my truck and then giving me a ticket, that doesn't make it any much better or that much better. Like, the ticket doesn't feel any less painful than what it already is going to feel. For the most part, that's gonna that's the videos I got for you guys that day when I went to go pick up my paint. It was such a hassle that day. It was such a pain in the pain in the head. I'm going to show you guys how to get this stuff uh, installed on your truck, the paint. I'm just going to show you guys the before and afters. That's going to be everything for today's video, guys. I hope you guys love the videos. I hope you guys, I see all your comments, guys. Keep commenting, keep commenting on all my videos. I see every single comment you guys comment. Every single comment that you guys comment on my videos, I see them. I just don't get to reply all the time at the moment you guys comment because sometimes, like I said, YouTube either won't let me know right away or they won't let me know with time. Like, They'll let me know about a comment that's put like maybe five, six hours ago, like, and they'll barely be notifying me like right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. I was kind of freaking out because everybody was commenting on my video saying, "Hey, when is a new video coming up? When is a new video coming up?" And I was just lost for words because I needed this. I needed to get footage. I needed to explain. I needed to talk to you guys. I just can't make a video and make a video about something random like like the pain and not explain what's been going on. I need to talk to my people, my people, which are you guys, about what's been going on and like the TDOS lifetime uh, hopefully you guys understand everything's been going well honestly thank you all so much for y'all support and always being there man like you guys don't understand how much that means like, that really does mean a lot when you have support from people like that clean surface that you're gonna paint because you don't want any dust or dirt or any grime on the surface so you want to clean the clean that off with with a like one of these microfiber towels and some alcohol I have the alcohol up there um, you just want to go ahead and clean off the little surface. I'm, since I'm only doing the corner of the bumper, it's not going to take me that long. You guys want to see the paint? We actually have actual Mopar paint this time. Sorry if I'm dressed all formal, guys. I just got out of work, so this is the paint, guys. If you guys can see it, hopefully you guys can see it. 
I'm still not 100% sure how to use this, but we're gonna figure it out and get it done. So let's go ahead and get to that, guys. Like I told you, I'm just gonna clean off that little part with alcohol and this microfiber, just so it can stay clean and there not be any dust. Then we're gonna give it 30 minutes after the first layer of, of paint. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and see if it needs another layer of paint or if we're just gonna go ahead and put the top coat on it. So let's get to that, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse of this. Let's go ahead and start with that. Alright guys, so I basically got it done already. I got most of it done as you can see here. There was a few more scratches than I originally saw. We're going to go ahead and put a timer for 30 minutes and then we're going to go ahead and wait on that and then we're going to come out and check to see if we need another coat or if we can go ahead and just clear coat it and just seal it up already. But we're going to go ahead and put the timer right now. I got the timer for 30 minutes going. We're going to go ahead and wait on that and we're going to go ahead and go inside, go chill for a while. I'll pick you guys up back when it's ready to come check on this guys see you in a bit all right guys so now i'm gonna use the bottom part down here which is uh the you can call it the clear coat it's all down here in this little silver part you just unscrew basically the silver cap and it comes off as like a whole like bottle like that's basically the bottle right there that great that whole gray part um i'm just gonna get the clear coat go ahead and clear coat that it's been about 30 32 minutes 33 minutes um i'm gonna go ahead and clear coat it let you guys know how that turns out after the after the process is done and i'll pick you guys up after that see you guys in a bit all right guys so i went ahead and did the clear coat already i already put on the clear coat like one coat of it over the paint uh, i didn't need an extra layer it pretty much filled in all the scratches with the first layer of paint that i put on uh, right now I'm not going to show you guys too close how the paint looks because it's still curing. Uh, the clear coat still looks shiny and really glossy where I left it. The paint, it's its basically shining on where the, I put the brand new paint so it kind of sticks out a little bit in my opinion like right now looking at it from the light. But tomorrow I'll give you guys, or not tomorrow but when I record the next video for you guys, I'll have that uh, bumper out in the sunlight for you guys and I'll show you guys in the sunlight how it looks. Um, way better job than the other time on my door. I think this paint was a lot better and a lot more useful. The pen little thing on the top really worked to fill in those little scratches. Mm. That's going to be it for today. I'm really uh, sorry that the video was kind of short. Kind of didn't contain too much meat and potatoes, like too much of the interesting stuff. Kind of more like an explaining getting back into the video type thing that's gonna be it like i said uh hope you guys enjoyed the video always stay safe guys keep on trucking keep checking out the videos keep commenting like the videos and we'll see you guys in the next one peace out